things here real quick while we are going live. Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome to Positive Vibes. I have a special guest, Apostle John E. Ross. He has some great news to share with you guys. So guys, I want you to tune in. I want you to like, share, and just come into this room with us on Positive Vibes so you can feel these positive vibes, this positive energy going out. Welcome to Positive Vibes, uh, Apostle John Rise. Blessings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How are you today? I am well. I am well. Let's talk about this new release. I am excited. I hope these guys that are watching are is excited too. I'm just doing some things behind the scene as we um, continue to talk. So don't mind me. Just let's talk about this new release, John. What made you even want to, what inspired you to do this new release? Well, Lord, give me another chance that is featuring gospel recording artist Sean Scales and Tamara Lloyd and the third minor production team. When I wrote this song, I wrote it from a different perspective, thinking about the times we mess up repeatedly, but not intentionally, meaning a time of growth is needed. And this song also speaks to that premeditated, intentional, I call it that plotting and planning sinning, because now we are repenting from the heart and we want right standing with God, meaning we are not just being prophetic or excuse me, politically, socially acceptable and making an apology or seeking a lesser punishment or a reduced sentence from God. But we want a inward transformation in our inward being. And so that is the focus of the writing of this song. Hey, man, I'm sorry. Hold on a second while I do some things over here. Sorry about that. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. And so the song, actually, I have many songs that I've been trying to get completed. And, you know, we've been faced with one issue or another trying to get to the completion line. So this one came up just I call it a div divine connection. I was featured in a magazine called Music Lovers Magazine. And as I was flipping through the magazine, I came across Tamara Lloyd's article. And mm -hmm. so I reached out to her because the Lord said to invite her on to the podcast and interview her. So that's what I did. And in that interview, that's when I found out that she had the the minor third production team and that that's what she does she takes your music your songs and they redo the music they do vocals and all that kind of good stuff and i said well my goodness <laughs> as that interview was going my mind was thinking let me ask her at the end of this interview you know so we talked at the end of the interview and we worked out a price. And so I thought I had a song, Lord, give me another chance. I was wanting another artist to do. It didn't work out. And I said, let's see what you can do with this. And she did the rush. She, she contacted me back. I told her I needed a lead. She said, have you heard of Sean Scales? And I was like, yes. And so next thing I know, she said, he's on the song. And it took them about a month, I would say, but after a month, I was very happy with the results. Awesome. You know, and ladies and gentlemen, I know you probably don't know, I met John at the Spin Awards last year. And actually what popped up on my yeah. feed today, as you guys can see, is John and I, we were at the Spin Awards on the red carpet. That's where I met John in Atlanta on, on last year on today. So look at God, yeah. how he's working it out. We didn't even know I, we had a conversation prior to us coming live on today in regarding us meeting at the Spin Awards, which was a great time. Yeah. Didn't even know nice. we were going to be doing this interview on today. God is just amazing, John. You know what, John? I want you to do me a favor. And uh, while we know that the new the song release is going to be pre-ordering on November 13, if you guys are watching this Facebook, I mean, watching this live right now, it's all the information is down at the bottom. You can follow John on his IG and also on his Facebook. There's others. There's another song that you have too. Let's talk about that one too. 
remember now thy creator. And yeah. remember now thy creator. I just found out this week that we have been nominated for a Texas Gospel Music Excellence Award. We're nominated in category one for best soloist of the year. So if you would like to support us in that particular uh, awards ceremony, mm -hmm. please go to www.tgmea.org and we're in category number one and please vote for us. Congratulations. That's awesome. That's an awesome, awesome accomplishment. You know, and Joy, you're just doing magnificent things and we thank God for you. We thank God for this opportunity to, for you to come on to Positive Vibes. So now let's talk about what's going on in the world and how your song is going to be making a difference in the world. Because, you know, people are there. They're, people don't know who to believe. They don't know who to look up to. There's a lot of things that are going on. People are coming out of the woodwork with these false promises and things like that. But we know that God is not a God of false promises. What are your yeah. thoughts on my thoughts on that is to look to the Lord. The Bible says to take not confidence in no man. And that's speaking from the flesh. We don't take confidence in the flesh. We take confidence in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So let's take this time and let's build a relationship with Christ, with God, through the word of God, in relationship with God, through Jesus. Jesus Christ. And then not only let's not stop there with just being in our word, but let's begin to, to um, research what, what in the Bible is called the fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And what I have been finding out that's been working for me is that we look at the love, the joy, the peace, the long suffering, the gentleness, the goodness, the faith. We look at that from a external and from an external mm -hmm. perspective, when really is talking internally to us to recreate our inward man to that of Christ. So we need to research that out properly. Hebrew, Greek, um, Bible Hub, research that, Google it, research that out, each individual fruit separately. And then what in its work, it is work to embody the fruit of the spirit. But once that inward man becomes the character and pleasing fruit, hallelujah, of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, which is pleasing to God, God will bring you to your next assignment. He'll open up doors for you. He'll make okay. ways for you. Okay. He'll lead you. He'll guide you. He'll teach you. Just like the podcast that I have, Let's Talk to the Lord, Gospel Radio Talk Show. And that is uh, award-winning. We won spent two spin awards this year in Atlanta. And we praise God that that is what that podcast is founded on. It's founded on the guest and myself going to the word of God, releasing a word on a particular topic that we pray that God is has, has chosen for some part of the kingdom of God that's going to help somebody, bless somebody, teach somebody, confirmation for somebody, be prophetic mm -hmm. to someone where they can get a good instruction and a good direction on which way the Lord would have for them to go. And then with Let's Talk to the Lord, we end with some good gospel music. And if you were are interested in hearing episodes from the Let's Talk to the Lord gospel radio talk mm -hmm. show, please go over to speaker.com, put in Let's Talk to the Lord gospel radio talk show every episode from season one through five is there and Amen. you can download your own mp3 copies nice you know what john you know and at this time where people you know there's i've always heard people say that you know we you know i you know some people hear from god and some people don't now there's a lot of times yeah. they don't they don't know how to hear from god you know what i mean sometimes yeah. you know, they say that there's this there's this one man on one shoulder and there's another man on the other shoulder how would yeah. you how would you speak to people on this day how to hear from god as to their purpose because everybody has a purpose there's people right now that are watching this broadcast that don't yeah. know that they have a purpose they want to give up they think that you know things are just going downhill for them, how can they hear from the Holy Spirit and, you know, actually get to the point where they can 
block out the distractions? What would you say for them today? Amen. Well, we know that the prophetic voice is here to help in that. We know that nothing is going to be revealed until it is revealed and released through the prophetic voice. Okay. But we have the prophetic voice. However, what, like you said, what is most important is not that, you know, is the pastor is there, amen, the bishop is there, the evangelist is there, but the most important thing is that you have that relationship, that you can hear from God. They're here to help lead you and guide you through the difficult times, but you have got to build your relationship with God. You have got to purify your life. That is the if you want to call it a secret, is in purity. The more you purify your life, ask the Lord to fill and baptize you in the Holy Spirit, be filled and baptized in the Holy Spirit, begin to get into the word of God, begin fasting, begin praying, begin worshiping, begin just one-on-one, -on -one, just building that relationship. That's going to purify your ear gates. That's going to purify your eye gates. And before long, you're going to be able to see in another realm. and You're going to be seeing angels ascending and descending. You're going to be able to see into the realm of the spirit where you know, okay, God, I know you're real because my eye gates are open and I can see all this angelic. I can see another presence. Hallelujah. That is here Amen. with me. That is not from this world. And as you build that faith muscles, build up those faith muscles mm -hmm. and be led by God, what happens is the first little miracle, you know, happens and you're like, okay, so I, I, I whatever that could be in your life, the Lord fix that situation while the phone rang or he led me to the place that got me to through this next one. So you have a little bit of faith there. Okay. So now we're going to the next level. And so as God keeps on working miracles and working mm -hmm. out situations and teaching you and leading you and guiding you, your faith muscles are being built up in him. And so you continue. Now we know that you know that the enemy is not just going to sit back and say, no, okay. He's this no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he will not do it. But you know what people don't really realize? One of the first miracles is when people wake up in the morning. That's a miracle because when we yeah. start, we're almost into a, a, a silent peace that's almost like to unto death. When we wake yeah. up in the morning, that's a miracle because, you know, yeah. today, there's a lot of people that did not get that chance to wake up on the right side. You know what I mean? Amen. 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 So, so glory to God for this Friday. Glory to God for all of you guys that are watching and glory to God for just allowing this day to be the appointed time where you're here with us, myself and Apostle John Ross at this time at 1043 on this happy Friday on November 6th. We're still, there's still so much going on y'all, but I don't want you guys to give up, give up your faith. You know, I don't want you guys to just, I don't want you to become weary and well-doing. Just know that God knows everything that you're going through. He knew that, you know, if you broke a nail, he knew that if he, he knew that if you, he knew that, you know, that, you know, you were going to be on your, you were going to have struggles. He knew that, you know, that he knew everything that's going on. He knew that you may have sinus issues today. He knew that yeah. you may have an earache. He knew that. You know, you may have a gray hair coming. He knew all of that. So don't be worried. You know, you can't be worried. Because Man, God and, don't, and don't allow the enemy to put a wedge in between you and God to, to, to draw, to put, um, to come in between your relationship, to try to separate you. When the difficult times come, press into him, cast all your cares on him, let him let him work those miracles. And that is the one of the biggest struggles we face is because when hard times come, we want to regress. We want to run opposite from God and try to make it happen another way instead of running to God. And I just want to share a quick testimony. That's just like almost a year ago to the date I was here in my own home, mm -hmm. just got in from working out and I just happened to go into the bathroom and I looked and my face had swelled up, my nose wow. had swelled up, my eyes had swelled up, my throat started swelling up and closing. And I was trying to figure out like, Lord, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, 
I didn't know, like, is, should I get to the hospital? What should I do? Or will I be okay? So I drank a little bit of blessed oil. And I thought maybe, you know, I didn't know why my face was swollen up like that. But the next thing I know, I thought I could just lay down and maybe I'd be all right. Man, that next, I guess, attack. I don't know what to call those because I was having an allergic reaction to a, a medicine that I was taking. Mm -hmm. And so the next pang, I'll call it a pang, it hit me and I could not, I couldn't even catch a breath. So I tell you, I ended up like listening to the spirit and ran and dialed 911 mm -hmm. and I couldn't even talk. All I could do is let the phone hit the floor and start running through the house, literally getting things together because I knew that I was on my way to the hospital. But thanks be to God, they got Amen. me to the hospital. They figured out that it was a medication. Unfortunately, I ended up being on a ventilator for about wow. a day and a half until that, until that medication wore off. But I tell you in the old, I would have questioned God in those moments because that was severe to me. Mm -hmm. I would have said, wait a minute. And, and then I kind of in a jokingly way, I did kind of say to God after it was over, mm -hmm. I said, so you was planning on taking me out of here early, <laughs> huh? I said, yeah. I thought I had some good years left. And, and all of a sudden you decided it's time for me to go home and you didn't even prepare me? Like, what's going on? But I thank God that uh, I build up faith in him to, to love him and trust him and, and to stay close to him and cling to him and not run from him and get angry at him and say, how could you let that happen to me? And just say, well, Lord, I thank you because you brought me through and I am still alive and here today. Amen. We well, you know without further ado, John, I want to make sure we have the opportunity to hear your song and I'm going to get that right now. If you just give me one second and I'll get that, yeah. get that stirred up for everyone to hear the song so you can go purchase it. Here we go. Now come on and help me say it right now. I mean this from my heart. I want to say no more. Now come on and help me say it right now. Oh, oh, and I mean this from my heart. I want to say no more. You know, there you go. That you know, I don't know that the whole format of the song is great. I'm ready to praise God right now, but I'm in my little <laughs> space and can't do that. And I have a lot of other things to do today, but John, I want you to know that's going to be my worship song for yeah. this Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. And John, the arrangement was tight. I love it. And guys, I want you to go out there and purchase this. It's pre-order is November 13th. That's just what next week. Yes. Just get just get it because it's going to bless your soul. It's a song that you can put on on your more on your mornings as you go out and do all those miraculous things that God will have you to do on today. Thank you, John. Yes, so much for that song. I love it. Thank Lord, you. give me one more chance because we know we all have made mistakes. You know, nobody's perfect. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to ask the Lord to give you one more chance. I know there's been yeah. time and time again, and I'm not a perfect person, but I want to let you know that I've had to ask God and get on my knees for another chance. And yeah. he's done so in per perfect, perfectionately have done so. So I thank Lord right now for another chance. And John, I thank you for allowing me to be a part as you release this song to the universe. I pray that it goes yeah. Not just the top, but over the top. And I pray that somebody, Jesus. and also not only that, I pray that today someone can ask Lord, ask God to give them one more chance because you know, yeah, you're another still here. chance. 
Amen. You're still here. John, I want you to uh, break away with us on, on a prayer for someone that is seeking the Lord on today. Someone who is weary, someone who's just lost a loved one too. As uh, I don't know if you've heard it, but we've lost a, a great uh, man here in North Carolina. We've lost um, uh, Mr. Sam said he was a commissioner here. He passed from, from um, complications of COVID-19. So I want you to send a prayer out to the Samson family for me, if you will, today. Amen. If you all want to uh, get in touch with me, please go to let's talk to the Lord radio dot international, or you can email me at let's talk to the Lord at yahoo.com. And if you're going through into the Samson family, we're going to send out prayer that God, that the Holy Spirit, it will saturate your heart, will saturate your mind, will saturate your soul, will saturate your spirit, because truly there is nothing that can console us like God's Holy Spirit. So right now in prayer, Lord, we ask you to release to the Samson family and to every family that is grieving on today. We ask you to release the Holy Spirit to console, to saturate the heart, saturate the mind, saturate the soul, saturate the spirit in the name of Jesus. Yes, release ministering angels to go to them, to lead them and guide them, cherubim and seraphim to lead them and guide them, protect them and camp your angels round about them. Love them in the name of Jesus. Let them know that you love them during this time and yes. let them know that being absent from the body, hallelujah, yes. according yes. to your word says that we are present with you. Hallelujah. 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 In, the in the name of, name Jesus. of Jesus. So let them know, Lord, that you are with them and that you love them, lead them and guide them and comfort them and all that are going through during this holiday season. Love on them, Lord. Lead them, teach them, and guide them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 And ladies and gentlemen, enjoy this special time with your family. Don't forget to yes. social distance. Don't forget Hallelujah. that you guys are out there and you're you're shopping and doing all those great things that God will have you to do. Wear your mask and make sure that your masks amen. are fitting snugly. And also make sure that your children are wearing their masks. So, you know, what, ladies yes. and gentlemen, I want you to be safe during this time. And also be aware of your surroundings. There's so much turmoil going on. There's a lot of different things going on. People are trying to to um, hurt and harm people. I want you guys to be aware of your surroundings and mothers Amen. and mothers, men, uh, men, men of God and men, just men. I want you to make sure that your wives, that your loved ones are secure as you go out to the stores with them. And if you're feeling it in your belly, men, that, you know, your wives are not secure or your, your daughters are not secure when they go out shopping, go with them, be their security because you are the head Amen. of the household. We want to make sure that you remain where God has placed you. So with that yeah. said, John, I'm going to let you go, release you from positive vibes uh, at this moment. I know you have a lot of things that you have to do today. I want to thank God for you and may God continue to bless you and your family abundantly. And you're welcome to come back anytime to tell us the results of this magnificent song that you uh, just, you're just you just releasing on November 13th and also all the other things that you do. And may you continue continually to be blessed and come back again soon. Yes, I will be more than happy to. We look forward to speaking with you in the near future, ma'am. Okay, well, take care, John. Have a blessed Friday. Thank you. Take care. You too. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.